Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a special one-off cast. Today we will be casting two army players versus two civilian challengers. Strategy. Planning. Execution. In the year of cancellations, the Army's eSports League has lifted plenty of troops. It's helped me throughout the whole lockdown. Not because I can't, I've not been well or like that, but because I can't go out and see people. But I connect with people online, obviously people I've not seen for a while, talk to them, see how they are. It's actually a really good community. Now in its third season, around the corner, Civvy Street approaches. The main difference with season three is we're integrating the ability for civilian gamers to come in and play against military gamers. They register with Lions League, Details are then confirmed, and then they can go into a private lobby, military or civilian. Whoever has the most points will win, win, win the prize at the end of it. So it's, it's a good way of interacting. And interacting with the public in this way, many would look at that as a recruitment strategy or part of one. Uh, you don't think so, though? No, engagement, very much engagement. Uh, none of the people playing this are recruiters, and the whole purpose is soldiers are doing this anyway. That's not all they've been up to, of course. A debut Lions League year ran alongside the biggest homeland operation in peacetime, many players supporting COVID efforts during their day jobs. But work from home, furlough schemes and school closures have seen over 1,000 civilians welcomed to the gaming lobby. It's an eye-opener. Over the last year, we have seen the virtual environment explode in terms of our ability to connect with the general public. Um, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing, amazingly cost-effective way of doing it, and it also allows you to be a bit more interactive with somebody, rather than standing at, at, at a fate or doing face-to-face. -face. Virtual engagement and physical engagement should be running in parallel. Once COVID is under control, I, I very much doubt that you will see virtual engagement disappear. What they call hybrid engagement is what is the way ahead. So, how has the public responded? The army boy is doing us proud here. Can the civvy start to clutch things up? I'm Tom, I'm 18 years old. Uh, I'm a civilian, but I'm also the caster for the British Army Esports League, Lions League. The civilians have been, you know, really keen supporters. They've been in the chats. And it's been lovely to see people cheering on our boys, not just in their field of work, but in the field of esports. I like playing with them as well. We all share the same passion for, for esports and gaming, so it's very easy to have just a general conversation about gaming itself. I was in the cadets for five years before leaving school. Having interacted with the army, it's given me a, a newfound sort of possibility of maybe doing something in terms of a military career in the future. And for those wondering if the forces play nice, when you get into those heat of the moment situations, a little bit of military spark comes out. You know, not necessarily barking orders, but you can tell the uh, you can tell the drill sergeant from the fourteen year old gamer. I wouldn't say they have an advantage over me. I do see like their military background shining through when, for example, they're giving call outs, and you know, if we designate a team captain going into a match, it's very clear that they will take charge as they would do in a military situation. But it's not done in a ruthless way. It's more encouraging words rather than, you know, trying to get someone to desperately do something in the moment. This year we'll see civilian teams competing directly with units. But who's really on the front foot? Fingers crossed, we, we do all right. Some of the civilian teams are very, very professional and are very good at what they do. So hopefully we will be able to hold our head up high and do well. We're also looking uh, internally at building some esports uh, arenas within of the larger garrisons and barracks. The army used previous Insomnia gaming festivals to boost its profile, but hoped to virtually launch its own Omega Games event in May. With esports on the rise, they'll take all the practice they can get. Tom Sables, Forces News.